To mark the British Gas Energy Trust's 20th anniversary, it convened stakeholders from across the not-for-profit sector to discuss alleviating the detrimental impact of fuel poverty. There were seven roundtables, each focusing on a different disadvantaged group. I pledged to really reflect on the things that were shared during the room. Since leaving there, we've, we've done an awful lot more consideration of how client voice is used in the services that we deliver and how, and how we focus and target our services at the most vulnerable in our society. There are so many similar challenges that people face, regardless of whether they have a, a physical disability or a mental health issue. But one of the things that came up was really about information being accessible, about using simple language, about flexibility, and about recognising that there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. I thought the round table was really interesting in that there was quite an eclectic group of people around the table. From my perspective, looking at that broader policy piece, looking at how they can get behind organisations like Carers UK to support us with some of the campaigning that we do to help get governments to understand that you need to do more than help one individual when they're in crisis. You need to look at what the root cause of the issue and the problem and the challenges are and then how you can help ensure that we have a bit more equality for unpaid carers in particular. And what I also particularly liked was there were some of the trustees from the British Gas Energy Trust kind of listening in as well, so that you felt that this was something that was truly being taken to the heart of the, of the organisation. What was discussed that was really memorable for me is around accessible language and to talk more about accessibility for those most marginalised. It was amazing to be around the table with organisations doing similar work to Hopscotch, but in different ways. It was very insightful. No one agency actually had the answers, and it was that partnership. I think if it was us in isolation, we probably wouldn't be able to bring that kind of offer to the table and, and bring those benefits for our clients. There was quite a lot that was raised. The first thing was the evidence on, on the multiple crises that individuals, families and their communities are having to face. We often think about the pandemic as being the biggest crisis that we've had in, in the last few years. The reality is that that came on the back of austerity. So people were facing multiple challenges in being able to just make their way through their daily lives. There was a discussion surrounding money matters for younger people. In Glasgow, they were doing some financial education. I came back to Dundee. I took a lot of that with me. Where Citizens Advice will, will have the opportunity to be able to go into schools and give some financial education, how to read an electricity bill, a gas bill, in the hope that if we teach the kids this, then they'll be able to teach their parents. I think the main takeaway for me was the importance of collaboration between industry and various different types of interest groups. There was a real variety attending the round table and there's a mountain to climb with over three billion pounds of energy debt in the UK. So it's going to take a huge collective effort to, to overcome this and there's a lot of goodwill in the room. It's just how do we harness that collectively.